Hi, this is Figma Techniques. At the end of this video, you will be able to create this numeric 8 logo in Figma. So if you want to follow along, let's get started. So to begin, we are going to create four concentric circles. Concentric circles are circles with a common center. And use these concentric circles to create the numeric 8 logo as you saw in the beginning. Let's press O from the keyboard and press shift to create a circle. Let's go to the inspector and uncheck the fill. Let's give it a stroke and change the width to 5. Let's go to the width and height and check constraint proportions. Let's change the width to 50. Let's select the circle and press command C to copy. command V to paste three copies of this circle. Let's select the first and rename this to one. And select the second and change it to two. And the third, and the last and change it to four. Let's select the second one. Let's go to the inspector and change the width to 86. And reposition this so that they have a common center. Let's select the 10 and change the width to 122. And reposition the circle so that they have a common center. Let's select the last and change the width to 158 and reposition it so that it is in concentric with the other circle. When we select the first one and press Alt and hover on the second one, you can see the gap between them is 18. In the same way, if I select the second one and the third, you can see they have the same gap. If I select the third and last, they also have the same gap. Let's drag around and press Command G to group. Let's open the layer list and select the first circle. Let's press Enter to go into vector editing mode. We are going to cut the left part of the circle. So I'll hover here and select the anchor point on the left. I'll press backspace to delete. I'll repeat this for all the other circles. Let's rename this group to top right. With this done, I'll select the group and press command C to copy. Press command V to paste. I'll select the one below and rename this to button left. I'll expand the group. Make sure I've selected all the layers and press Shift and H to flip horizontal. I'll select it and move it down so that it is in line with the first one. I'll release the mouse. I'll drag around all the layers and press Command G to group and rename this group to original. With that done, I'll press Command C to copy and to select that, press Command V to paste. I will rename this to flipped. With the flip layer selected, I'll press Shift H to flip horizontally. Let's go to each of the group under the flip layer. I'll select the bottom left. Now we rename this to bottom right. And this becomes top left.
So what we are going to do, we are going to select all the layers on the bottom right and the layers on the top left and delete all the section which each of the circle intersect with the other circles without the first circle. We are going to select the second circle and as you can see at this side it intersects with the other circle on the top. So I'll press enter to go into vector editing. I'll go to the toolbar and bring the pen tool. I'll click where it intersects with a large circle to define another anchor point. I'll press escape and select the first anchor point. I'll press backspace to delete. I'll select the third circle. Press enter to go into vector editing. I'll bring the pen tool and click on the part where it intersects with the circles. I'll press escape and select the first anchor point. I'll press backspace to delete. I'll select the last circle and bring the pen tool again. I'll press enter and click on the part where it intersects with the large circle. I'll click here to define an anchor point. I'll then press escape and select the first anchor point. I'll press backspace to delete. We are going to repeat this process for the top left layers and the flipped layer. We are going to select the second circle and press enter. Now we are going to cut the side where it intersects with these circles. So go to the toolbar to bring the pen tool. And at this side it intersects with the large circle. So I'll click here to define an anchor point. I'll press escape and click on the first anchor point. I'll press backspace to delete. I'll select the third circle and press enter to go into vector editing. With the pen tool still selected, I'll hover on the circle and go to the part where it intersects with the large circle. I'll click here to define an anchor point and press escape. I'll then select the last anchor point and press backspace to delete. I'll select the last circle and press enter. With the pen tool still selected, I'll hover and go to the part where it intersects with the large circle. I'll click on that point and press escape. I'll select the last anchor point and press backspace and select everything. And press command G to group. Now I'll go to the inspector and give it another fill color. Press shift to enlarge this. So friends, this is how you can create this numeric 8 logo in Figma using concentric circles and the pen tool. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.